Hi everyone and welcome to today's video, really quick video today. Um, a lot of us fountain pen users and pen users in general are familiar with the brand Retro 51 and we're mostly known, uh, know it well for these uh, Tornado uh, rollerball pens which are really really great. These come in a huge range of finishes, there are pop versions of it which just sort of pop up occasionally, uh, different retailers have exclusives and all of that. There's a huge range of these to collect and people go absolutely bonkers for them. And understandably, these are probably some of the best writing uh, rollerball pens on the market. So, um, and they and the designs are beautiful, and they're comfortable in the hand, and all of that. So, if you're gonna if you're gonna use a pen that isn't a fountain pen, the Retro Fifty One is a really good option. Um, I'll link to a little video I've done just on these uh, down below. But what I wanted to talk about today, very quickly in this video, uh, was the Retro Fifty One fountain pens. Now, a pen that I've had in my collection for um, a couple of years now is the, this is the Tornado uh, fountain pen, uh, and this is the Lincoln model. It's made of sort of like coppery sort of um, looking material, um, nice screw cap, you know, good Schmidt nib, nice little section on it, all of that. International standard cartridge converter, comes with a converter, all of that, really great. Just in terms of the size of the pen, we're not talking a small pen here. Um, this is a Lamy Safari, and so, you know, you've got a decent sort of size pen here. And if we just um, uncap them so you can see what that's like um, in terms of size, you can see there, good size pen. Nice in the hand, good number six size nib, all of that really great. So this year or end of last year, Retro 51 um, made a couple of changes to the Tornado fountain pen. And uh, I have one of those here. This is how it comes packaged in this sort of tube. Um, and you take the top off and the pen is sitting there in a piece of foam, which is a really great way of presenting the pen. I like the way that Retro 51 do this. So this is the Stealth model. Um, so this is an all blacked out version. Uh, nice, once again, nice looking pen, nice sort of metal material really good um, and I quite like it. I said I really like the model and uh, I really like the Stealth. Now I've got the Stealth Rollerball and in a couple of months time I'm probably going to do a little video where I show the Rollerball uh, and the fountain pen uh, side by side and you know just to show the model and yeah sing its praises really. I think they're really great pens. Um, but they made some changes. Now to the outside they don't look any different. Um, they still look like the same pen, screw to cap, um, International cartridge converter it comes with a oh that's running really quite low. Uh, it comes with a, a standard sort of converter. It looks like one of the Schmidt ones or Schmidt style at least. Um, and yeah, really sort of solid, decent pen. So what are the changes? Well, really there are two major changes that need to be brought up because these will affect how you buy. Well, not how you buy the pen, but why you will buy the pen. So let's look at these uh, side by side. The big change is the section. So we've gone from this sort of uh, more matte uh, section with the sort of the standard basic taper to a more sort of uh, hourglass taper with a little flare on the end and sort of a more shiny material. Now I actually prefer the feeling of the old uh, retro, but the shape of the new one is much better. Now the old ones came with a Schmidt nib, which you can see there. You know, nice nib, writes really well, nice medium. I have this one in the 1.1, 1 .1, uh, but now they're fitted with a Yovo nib, as this is a 1.1 millimeter. So, uh, different nib, different section. They're going to write slightly differently. I'm just gonna do a quick writing sample with them. Obviously, the two different nib sizes uh, will be apparent, um, but both still write really well. Both are lovely pens, and uh, the, you know, the, the pen model itself is really quite nice. So we'll start with uh, the uh, original. So we've got the Retro 51 Tornado. And as I said, this is the Lincoln. And it is inked here. Oh, it's got a steel Schmidt medium nib. And the ink is Waterman. Serenity Blue. So as I said, if you're getting an older model, you're going to get a Schmidt uh, and with the sort of with this sort of section. Um, as I said, this writes really, really well. It's really 
pr pretty wet, it's smooth, it's gorgeous. I'm really, I've always been really happy with this pen. Um, and then if we move to the new model, we've got the here, Retro 51 Tornado, this is the Stealth. And here we have a steel Yovo 1.1. And the ink here, once again, is Waterman Serenity Blue. Uh, really very smooth nib. I really like the Yovo nibs in general, but this one, for a stub nib, it's fabulous. Um, so yeah, nice. It's a really nice pen model. It's a really nice, you know, sort of writing experience. I don't think it necessarily matters which version of the pen uh, you get. You're going to get a, a nice writing instrument. But if you want the Yovo nib, get the newer version. Um, they're available from most retailers. I think they've phased out the old ones now. So if you, you know, you might find some old stock somewhere. But uh, I think the the feeling of the new one in the hand is really nice. Um, that grip is a nice section, a nice sort of size, sorry, and shape. Um, perhaps a tiny little bit narrow, but not so narrow that it's uh, not usable. And it's always it's a very good length pen. They do post, um, but you don't necessarily need to because it is a relatively sort of long pen in the hand anyway. So I hope you found this video on the Retro 51 showing the older version and the new version um, as a, not necessarily a comparison, but just sort of show the differences, the main differences there. Um, hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. And you can also find me on uh, other social media, Facebook and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can email me, you can drop me messages here on my uh, videos here. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, uh, let me know. If there are ways you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.